What's up, guys? This is Hunter, a.k.a. Splitsec, your Megaverse community manager here at Kingdom Warriors. And I'm super excited that we're stepping right into the next episode of Surviving in Eledria. Um, this is an exciting episode for me because what we're going to do today is start prepping for our uh, End Dragon raid. Um, next Monday, this, is, this video is coming out on Monday the 3rd, I believe. Let's look. Let's make sure. Yeah, we're coming out on Monday the 3rd with this video. Um, next Monday, Monday the 10th, we are going to be doing a live stream event where everybody can come together. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the time I'm thinking we're going to be doing 8 uh, p.m. Eastern again, just like we did for the build contest. Um, but may maybe we'll shift it up. Let me know in the comments of this video if you need a different time and we'll try to accommodate the best we can. Uh, but I'm super excited. We're going to do some prep today, um, working towards... Uh, having everything we need to fight, uh, as well as Monday night when I put the official announcement up, which you should be seeing now. Um, we'll have a list of some things if you're newer to the game that maybe you want to work on getting this week uh, before everything goes on. But yeah, I'm having to come back and record this again because I said the wrong date when I first recorded it. But I'm super excited about this. Let's get into this. I'm going to switch screens really quick and we'll start playing. Hey, here we are. Nice. We're to it. Last episode, we um, we built a house and we got a basic farm running uh, to show you kind of what food is going on. So today, I want to focus on some next steps of like getting ahead in a in your first experience in a Minecraft world. Uh, and I actually learned a trick from one of our community members um, till we meet again that you guys probably saw on my live stream this last week. Uh, that I'm going to utilize today. Um, I'm going to try to get things popping uh, with some villager trading off the rip. Uh, so what we're aiming to do today in the episode is we're aiming to get, just so you can see what we're doing, we're aiming to get um, a thatcher, a thatching table, a th thatching, fletching table, and a smithing table today. So the, or not smithing table, a fletching table and a blast furnace. Uh, melting furnace, whichever one it calls it. But uh, so this is easy. We just got to go get one more piece of flint and we can start making emeralds. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, and then we need to get some iron and such so that we can work towards our melting furnace um, and get that going. So the first thing we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to go hit this mine over here and we're going to do some digging. Good old Minecraft mining. And get some uh, digging going try to find some different stuff you know what i should probably bring torches that's a good idea never leave home without light you know i don't have light with me right now so that's a good thing to do um doo, 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 doo. i got a couple all i need to do is put one in my offhand so that i can see that's really all i'm aiming for here uh but yeah we're gonna go down here and we're gonna try to get a hold of some iron and some raw iron and get a hold of some stone and things like that so that we can keep working towards uh, these two tables. All I'm looking for right now is one piece of flint for the uh, fletching table. If I can get one piece of flint, so as soon as I see some gravel, um, I'll be after it. You'll see me ignore a lot of copper today because I'm just not in need of it and it doesn't really uh, lead to anything I need at the moment. But our goal right now is to uh, hit some of this, get get some, um, what do you call it, some gravel, which is something that I normally try to avoid in Minecraft. I am not a fan of gravel. It's one of my least favorite blocks in the whole game, just because when you're down here digging, maybe we see more down here where we were working towards this cave the other day. Um, but when you're down here digging and you have to switch over to your shovel and all that good stuff, it's not exactly the most fun thing. I'm excited for some of our members the other day. Hey, there's some iron. We needed that. Uh, when we had the uh, the community event the other day, and we had the build the build contest, uh, a couple of our community members walked away with some good pickaxes and diamond blocks and all kinds of good stuff to get their adventure a little bit of a head start. So that was exciting. That was a really fun event. I had a good time hosting, uh, as well as watching what everybody built because you know it's it's. Um, it's it's fun to see what what's on other people's minds. We had a, a rocket ship that was built. We had a bunch of different houses. We had a uh, a relaxation station that was built, and that was actually one of my favorite builds of the day. Uh, that was totally just uh, a simple space to relax. It was nothing nothing complicated, but it was beautiful, and I, I loved that. I appreciate KW for 
putting that together. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to hit this cave. If you look at my mini map up here, apparently there's a cave right where I'm at basically. So I'm hoping that I can run into it and maybe it'll open up into some of the stuff we need. I'll grab this up because it's good to have. I might have to go up and um, make myself a couple of pickaxes and then come back down. I hear a spider, so we're not too far off of wherever this cave's at. We gotta be close here. See if I can find the cave before my pickaxe breaks. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. Yep, there we go. Okay, we'll go back out of here. Should have been more intelligent about the way I was handling this and gone ahead and brought one with me. But, you know, gotta waste time one way or another, right? So hit me up in the comments. Let me know um, if you're a part of the Kingdom Warriors Megaverse already and you've been a part of the server. Uh, let me know what you're building in the server. I want to I want to see it in the comments. Um, as well as um, let me know... Um, let me know if you know, uh, I mean, if, if you're not a part of the community yet, if, do you know that you can come join us yet? Do you? Uh, we are completely open world now. So now the world is completely accessible to the public. Uh, the information is available in the Kingdom Warriors Discord. If you need a link to that, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I can get you an invite to the Kingdom Warriors Discord. Uh, and you can come be a part of all the fun that we're having um, and get on the server and start participating in all the cool events we're doing. Because uh, we're going to be doing lots of events, lots of stuff going on. Um, it's going to be good. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. We needed five pieces of iron for the blasting furnace. And I need three for this. I technically have, I have one flint here. I have two gravel. I don't remember if this works or not, to be honest with you. I don't think it does. I don't think you can do that. I think you have to have fresh spawned gravel to make that happen. Um, so literally all I need at this point is the gravel. Because I can make... I can make um, this guy now. And now that I can make him... I can put that down. We'll stick that over here by that. And that should let us make some smooth stone. Oh, I'm, I'm lying. Smooth stone. Can make polished inside this, can't I? It's been a long time since I've done this, guys. Ah! Do we cook it again? Maybe that's what we do. I can't remember. It's been a long time. It's not something I make very often. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Yep, okay. We're not completely useless. <laughs> that's what we need, though. We just need uh, three pieces of that. And then the iron that we have. That was a waste. I mean, we'll use it later, but you know. Okay, so now what we do for this is we make one of these, boom, and then you surround it like that. Now we have our blast furnace, great. Now all we need is our piece of flint. Um, can't sleep yet. Is there any random gravel on the map maybe? Exposed, maybe here? Or maybe here. We'll check here first because that's a big area. But I want to try to sleep because I don't want to deal with mobs. Don't want to deal with mobs in this video. Nope, nope, nope. It's daytime. It's daytime. Yeah. Random singing. It's okay. That's what happens when you work with people that uh, make music all the time. We sing randomly. <laughs> Let's see, this cave? Oh, gravel, yes! Come on, give me a piece of flint, give me a piece of flint. Hey, job well done. I'm gonna take, no, I don't have a pickaxe to take that with me. That was dumb, I didn't, I only have two pieces, oh no. Okay, well, um, 
that's an issue for another moment. We don't need that right now. What we're about to do is I'm going to make this uh, fletching table. And we're going to go give uh, a villager a fletching table to work on. Um, I have that. I have that. I need wood. Um, we're going to go give a villager a fletching table. And what you can do, if you don't know this about Minecraft yet, um, villagers all take jobs. If you, and this is why you see me starting next to a villager, vill, uh, like a village here. This natural village will have these guys in it. They're they're very useful in the game of Minecraft. That guy's a farmer. Uh, and this uh, composter is what gives him the farmer job. This guy is just a normal villager. He has no job. Um, take that as you see it. And then somewhere, yeah, there's a cartographer that lives here. Um, there's your there's another farmer over there but they all have different jobs so what you can do if you've got one that doesn't have a job like this guy over here I can give him a table and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I guess I'm just gonna take it where he is because I don't want to wait all night long but if you give him a table ta-da he's an armor cool so we've got an armor now in the village we'll leave him be now let's go find another villager and we're going to hit, give him the uh, fletching table. And this fletching table is going to make him a fletcher. I think that's what it's called. What's this guy? Can he have a job? Or has he got a job? I'm going to go with he's got a job. I don't think he has a job, but... All right, we need to find another... You know what? We've got two farmers here. I'm going to come break this guy's thing so that our two guys are hanging out beside each other during the day. It's rude, I know, but you don't have a job anymore. Sorry, bud. Now you're a Thatcher. Hey, you're a Thatcher now. Or Fletcher. Why do I call him a Thatcher all the time? I do it all the time. Okay, so here's the goal here. If we go to this guy, we can trade for stuff. Like, he's got iron boots right now for four emeralds, right? And he's got emeralds for coal, but that's a bad trade. I don't want to use that much coal. But this guy will trade me sticks. I can trade sticks for his emeralds. So I can literally just go around here and be the tree logger that I am. Well, y'all. Collect trees. And with our awesome tree feller plug-in that we have that makes it to where I only have to hit one block of the tree to make the whole tree come down. I can sit here and grab up some logs, turn all of these logs into sticks, and it's a little slow because I have to do it, uh, I only get so many trades a day with that villager, um, and I might go make some more, uh, if we find more flint, I might go make some more of that job that table so that we can have the job more but yeah we can take all this out and then we end up with stacks of wood and sticks and all that good stuff and um, I can go in here and boom make bunches of wood and then make bunches of sticks oh yeah now I go to this guy and I trade him all the sticks. And he'll level up. And as he levels up, um, he'll get better trades. Like I'll get to trade less sticks or get more stuff. As well as have different options of things to trade. So if I had an excess of flint, I could do that now you know what i'm saying like and now see now he likes me so it's a 31 stick trade and not so now i've got 24 emeralds and i can go over here and i can level this guy and i can just buy boots i know that sounds crazy that i bought a bunch of boots like that but we'll keep leveling him um and we'll literally just make whatever he can make with emeralds over and over again as the days go by um and that way uh, that way we can get him to start making diamond armor and we can um, increase the number of villagers in this area by adding beds in this area to an extent and they will make more villagers and all that good stuff because right now we're not necessarily trying to 
Um, we're not necessarily trying to make uh, iron an iron farm yet. We're just trying to make villagers. So I could come in here and I could add beds and the villagers will uh, breed to make more villagers. And then I can keep adding more and more trades like this uh, to make my economy as my good buddy Tedicus, if you've ever watched Tedicus on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. He loves his economy. So what we'll do long term with this is we'll start working on getting an iron farm probably over there. I'll probably put it on that mountain right there because it's a little bit out of the way. We'll stick an iron farm up there and we'll utilize the way that the system generates mobs. So this guy right back here, if you're new to Minecraft, this, um, whoop, that's the wrong button. This iron golem here, he defends the villagers, but if you kill him, he, uh, he has iron, so you can utilize a system where um, you make it automate spawning that guy, and then he dies on his own, and then you get iron out of it. It's great. So we'll work on that some other time, but this is good. We're making progress. Uh, the goal of this is I want to move you guys towards being ready uh, for the Ender Dragon fight. So the Ender Dragon fight, we're all going to be want to be armored up. Um, we're all going to want to be weaponed up. Otherwise, um, it's going to be a much harder fight than it has to be. Uh, so we will, for the time being, keep making boots. But yeah, we can literally chop trees and all that good stuff. So I got that done a lot faster than I anticipated. I figured this whole episode was going to be kind of about setting that up and showing you guys what that was but we got done with that really quick because of our luck with finding the iron and everything that we did so quick so we'll move back to talking a little bit about farming as you see um, I need to get my farm harvested one so we can get some bread going because bread is good sustainable food yay as well as wheat is our way of expanding the best source of food in the game, which um, in vanilla Minecraft is typically like the easiest best, I should say. Not necessarily the best ever, but the combination of ease and best to me is steak through and through. So if we can get us some more cows and sheep, and sheep for wool, cows for steak, uh, all that good stuff. So we keep working the farm to do that. But if you don't know this yet, many of the animals in the game are attracted to wheat. Oh my goodness, what are you doing, dude? No. Bad. I don't know where he came from. So if you check this out, little sheepy dude is following me now because I have wheat in my hand. Um, sheep and cows will follow wheat. Um, pigs will follow carrots. Cats like the fish. They don't follow them, but if you feed them, they'll do their thing and they become your pets. Dogs like bones, obviously. Chickens like the wheat seeds. So if I get the wheat seeds in my hand, I don't know what I just did there. The chickens like the wheat seeds. And you can breed them with the wheat seeds. But those hearts mean that they're breed ready. So you have two of the same animal. And, you know, you do like Noah when he got off the ark. Put them in the right place doing the right thing. Then you get more animals. No, I want my torches in my hands. I'm happy because it's almost the end of this day. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some more wood. And I'm going to make some fences up here and get a little animal farm going. I can remember how to jump, I promise. Probably should replant some of these trees at some point too. Dude, we got cows right here? Dope! We don't have to go looking for cows? Oh, two cows! Perfect! Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our farm on the top of this hill. I think because I got a bunch of animals up here already and I like the idea of the animals being up here already. Oh, what are you doing here? You should go away on your own, but you didn't. Ooferton. Again, you guys sticking around. Okay, we're gonna go sleep and then we're gonna go pull off the next set of trades with our villagers because we don't want to miss that opportunity to move forward in the villager trading operation. 
So the villagers restock their in their uh, inventories once a day. So once a day, I can go over here and do this whole process. I'm just going to go ahead and use what I just made to make sticks because sticks. We're working towards something here. And I can go chop more trees. Okay. Good job, guys. Hanging out in your spots. Appreciate you. All right. Nope, that's the wrong one. This guy. Yeah, that's the one we want. Wait. Why is he so expensive today? Why did he get more expensive? He leveled up. That's very interesting. Okay, we're going to go get more trees. Because he still has more trades. And even though it's expensive, it's trees. I can grow more. I don't understand why it's more expensive, but it's okay. No big deal. Normally it gets more expensive when they get hit. Like if they take damage, it gets more expensive, but I know for a fact he didn't take damage because I slept before mobs spawned. But we're okay. We'll, we'll deal with the price gouging, man. We'll deal with it. I'm not that worried about it. Uh, the sound of kitty cats in the morning. Really though, I'm sorry guys, hate to tell this to you, but I'm not a I'm not a big cat person. Only reason being is because my wife's allergic. And so that's made it like in my family was allergic growing up too. Like I had multiple family members that oh hey look, axe broke. I had multiple family members that were allergic and all that good stuff. So that kind of results in less cat interaction and I think that the number one thing that makes somebody a cat fan is cat interaction you know yeah 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 I'm out of space I know um I can make this work we'll do this oh that's not the one I want that's the one I want there we go Ready, set, plant trees, 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 trees. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. More trees, more trees. I know I'm going to annoy myself later because this is where I want to make my farm and I'm going to have to recut all these trees down that I was clearing for the farm space. But, number one objective prepare for the end. So, here's where we're at. We're planting trees in annoying places because it helps us in the end. Did it? Oh, come on. It was a good joke. For those of you who are new to Minecraft, the end is not... Um, hmm, how do we say this? The end is not the end. It's kind of the beginning. Um, they made the end because like, it's like the end of... Like it's your end objective in the sense to beat the ender dragon. There's a whole process of uh, if you're um, if you're running around in Minecraft normally, you'll see these guys called Endermen. Uh, they're big, tall guys, and if you look them in the eyes, they attack you. Um, but if you kill them, they give you pearl, the Ender pearls, and you can make eyes of Ender out of that, and then you can use those to find the end. Um, what do they call it? A stronghold? Dude, why are these getting more expensive? What's going on with you, man? Who hurt you? Like, I don't really care that much, but who hurt you, bro? Um, but anyway, you go to the end fortress, and after you get to the end fortress... Um, you can then hey these are less expensive today nice and he should be leveling up question mark no not leveling up hmm. that was the sound of his inventory growing so now we can get crossbows for him that's cool gravel can be turned into flint that's cool 
but it takes an emerald. Don't really like that. He's a journeyman now, but yeah, so there we go. Now he's now he can make chainmail leggings. That's nice. Just one more thing that he can make. And four pieces of iron can be turned into uh, emeralds, which would be great when our iron farm runs. Uh, now, for now, it's kind of, yeah. But, hey, we can wear these pants for now. That gives us more armor. But, anyway, you make your way to the ender, the, the, the end fortress, and you have to fight your way to find the portal to the end. Uh, you use the eyes of ender, uh, as like a key almost and you go to that other realm and slay the dragon and the dragon is kind of like the the end all be all boss of minecraft so to speak and then after you do that you can go out if you're daring enough you can go out into the abyss of the end i say abyss because it's like giant uh endless space and there's like islands floating kind of like uh avatar if you've ever seen that there's like floating islands and you can go from island to island and try to find the end city and there's big loot in there and awesome stuff really cool stuff that you can get in there so that's kind of a goal of every minecraft player is to make it there because uh, it's very helpful in the long run it helps you Big time. I gotta get an inventory management plugin for the server because I really like being able to middle click and everything organize. I think that's I think I can do that as a plugin, and if I can, that'd be amazing. If I can't, I'll figure out how to do it with a mod and I'll show you guys the mod. One way or another. Okay, so we need to get a couple more pieces of iron, I think, because I don't have any in here, right? Yep, okay. Need to go get some iron so that we can make some axes and pickaxes and all that good stuff and keep moving forward we're our episode's almost done for the day oh hey i need a pickaxe to do that so i guess stone pickaxe until i find it i got one in here i think no i broke it okay no big deal we grab sticks and we make us a stone pickaxe or two. Boop. Boop. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Dooby 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 doop dooby 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 doop 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 doop. Yes, that is the song that came to mind. Oh, hey, he's peaceful right now. No, he's not because we're in a cave. I'm silly. It's daytime. I still don't have a sword. It would be smart to have a sword, you know? Like Jesus said, make a sword. Okay, so this will probably be the last thing we do here. We'll we'll go ahead and deal with this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Come on up, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he might blow. Nope. really be jump shotting him but i'm scared he's gonna blow my farm up there we go got him nice okay we're gonna call it there um good exciting end to the day i'm gonna call it there so let's flip back over to this screen all right welcome back guys uh listen this has been a fun episode today uh we made some progress we got our trading rolling and i'll probably continue doing some of that trading off camera uh so that we can move towards that uh and then i'll probably film a second episode this next week of our progress and getting my uh stuff together for the the event so that you guys can watch what i have i'm hoping to have that second episode out uh, by Friday. What is that? Fri what is Friday? Uh, Friday the 5th is my hope. So this episode should be coming out on April 3rd. Yeah, so it's Friday the 7th, excuse me. April 3rd, mo Monday, this this should be coming out, is my hope. And if this drops on Monday the 3rd with the announcement of our end raid that's coming up on the 9th, then my hope is to have an episode out to you on the 7th, the 6th or the 7th, hopefully, um, that I show you like all the things that you'll probably want to have, if possible, um, to uh, to utilize uh, or to, to effectively raid in the end. And that way we can go kill that end dragon and do the thing. It's going to be a good time. I appreciate each and every one of you watch these videos. It's really a good time to uh, 
show you guys some ropes on Minecraft, get through some basics. I know that I am kind of scatterbrained and wild, but hopefully that makes it a little bit fun for you. But anyway, let's pray before we go. Father God, we thank you so much for each and every one of the people uh, that have watched this video. Lord, we ask that you'd bless them, guide them, keep them, and help them uh, see your purposes and plans come true in their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Much love, everybody.